guy's wearing purple shorts. Hey, Prince, give it a rest. <laughs> I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. Everybody, how are you doing today? So, how many of you have wanted to go to Princeton? Daddy, Daddy, watch me twirl. Daddy, watch. Maybe audit a class. Maybe actually pay for a class if you have a million dollars. Oh, I think a lot of us have dreamt about going to an Ivy League school. Here I am at Princeton. Look at this. This is Princeton University, world famous, right? Oxford, Harvard, Princeton. Um, DeVry, so many. And fun fact, I actually, uh, I got accepted to Princeton. What a waste! I don't talk about it a lot. Not, not a braggart. But I got uh, a few years back, but I refused. I said no. I said I will not do uh, nudity. So that was a no-go. I won't go full bush. So that, am I getting my story? Am I confusing it with something else? I, it could have been an audition for something, maybe soft core. I'm not sure. But anyways, this is Princeton University. And walking through, there's a few iconic shots. I believe this is Nassau Hall here. N-A-S-S-A-U, because that's Nassau Street. But the famous uh, gates, Fitz Randolph gates are right over here. And apparently, they're cursed. And I want to take a look at these gates. These gates. Oh, yeah, there's, oh yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. This is like the famous, I think maybe was, this part was in a beautiful mind, but this is the famous Nassau Hall here. And it's pretty impressive to look at. So before we see the gates, we'll see this. I smell intelligence all around me. It's very, um, it's intoxicating and, and annoying. But, oh, there are the gates too. Okay, but let's go look at this famous, uh, let's go look at this famous building. Okay, so these girls are screaming. They're, they're, this is annoying. They're, go, they're saying, well, you went to a uh, geometry camp. You couldn't even go here. I don't know what the hell that means. But look at this. This. Look, there's ivy on the walls. Ivy League. Oh, it says class 1931 ivy, class 1929 ivy. My friend Jason dated a girl named Ivy in uh, junior high. I wonder if he's watching this right now. He's just still one of my closest friends. Uh, he's married now to a woman named Claire. I hope Ivy's doing well. But Claire's better, sorry. Love her. And uh, here, oh, look at this guy. Just relaxing on the lion. Get out of my shot, dude. Pink shorts, let's go, move it. <laughs> so this is Nassau Hall here. I could not buy it, but think that if the great noble, blah, 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 we get it. Here we are, Princeton. So classes, I believe, have started, and um, these fools look a little too young. These guys look a little too old. I'm not buying it. Stanhope Hall. Well, yeah, the beautiful mind they filmed here, and I think. Um, movie with uh, Paul Rudd and Tina Fey Mission. I think that was filmed here. But not really here for that. I'm here for those gates right in front. The famous Fitz... What the hell do they call them? Fitz Randolph gates. 
Look at all these people coming in. Oh, with your lattes. Less foam, skinny, almond milk. We get it. Enough. Oh, God. All right. Let's just do a little quick. Right here, look at this. They got all the classes listed here. So this is a famous shot of Princeton that most people uh, know. Much more movies were shot at Harvard. I think I prefer to go to Harvard. That way I could always say Harvard. It's not like you dropped out to become a bum. Mm. I'm just eavesdropping on conversations right now. Really, that's what I'm doing. The guy's wearing purple shorts. Hey, Prince, give it a rest. She's got a fluffy thing hanging out of her purse. If that's a real animal, you're in a lot of trouble. Especially at a place like Princeton. They're forward thinking. Let it breathe. See? She's got a dog with her. No, I think it's just some fluffy thing like a tail. Not, well, I don't know what that is. So here we go. Let's walk. To, oh, wait. I should. Uh, okay. I got to take a thumbnail. This is going to be the thumbnail you're going to see. So what, whatever you see is the thumbnail. That's what I just took. I'm getting a little aggravated, though, by the people that are walking around the campus. Because I feel like most of them are students. And I feel like most of them are probably judging everyone else. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm uh, rich shaming? No, not rich shaming. I'm I IQ shaming? Well, a little bit. Uh, is... What the fuck are you looking at? Or maybe I'm just feeling... Feelings that I shouldn't feel. And I'm feeling like... That's not happening at all. They don't give a shit. They probably don't give a shit. Probably tourists all the time. There's tourists right over here taking photos, taking video. Well, that lady just gave me a side eye. Carrot top here, walking that way, over my shoulder. Yeah, she just gave me. She just gave me a side eye. <laughs> if you're not a grad student, I'm not impressed. All right, here are the gates. So apparently, it's bad luck. To, now these gates were installed in 1905. Okay. And it wasn't until 1970 that they were open permanently. They were only open every 25 years or something for the graduating class, like reunion class. But it's bad luck, apparently, to walk through these gates. If you're a student, it's bad luck. There's many different tales. It's bad luck to walk out of them before you've graduated. And if you walk out of them before you graduate, it means you won't graduate or you won't graduate on time. And other things is you can walk out these gates, but then you can't walk up and down Nassau Street outside. You gotta walk straight if you walk out. Then other people have problems like he's showing his kid around. <laughs> See your wallet sticking out the back pocket. You better be careful. Why are you coming to Okay, don't look at me. And another thing is they can't can they enter but not exit through these gates? I think they just have too much time on their hands. If you're from Princeton and you're watching this video, I do respect all of you. I'm just making a little bit of fun of you because that's a weird thing to be afraid of. Let's get a look at, well, you know what? Okay, now I'm not, okay. So it's a superstition, right? And I, I don't consider myself superstitious. I consider myself a little stitious. I'm not superstitious, but I'm, I am a little stitious. Because I actually do have, like I'm, I don't really believe in all that sort of stuff, but I have so many superstitions when it comes to hockey. When I used to play it, I had to put my equipment on in a certain way. And when watching the Leafs, I like for instance, when they lost again in the final in the first round this year, again, my sister had just gotten hoodies delivered to our house, and uh, Maple Leaf hoodies with Jason on it. Jason Voorhees in Maple Leafs are really cool, and we all put them on during games <laughs> Game Seven. They got delivered that day, so we put them on. And the Leafs lost. I promptly buried that jersey in my basement underneath a whole bunch of stuff so I couldn't find it again. And then I thought, well, because I figured that's why they lost. That's what we do in Toronto. That's what a lot of hockey fans do. That's what a lot of sports fans do. Oh, if you wear the jersey on this day, though. Shh, why is that? You're not. If you wear like a certain piece of clothing, then your team will lose. So there are those superstitions. And I kind of follow them. Do I think they're real? And then I thought, I'm going to take that hoodie out. I'm going to wear it during the first game of the season. And if they lose, then I'll know it's cursed. So maybe I do believe in curses and uh, superstitions. I'm a lot stitious. You're not going to graduate if you walk through. You're not going to graduate if you walk through. 
You're not going to graduate if you match a beige purse with a blue pantsuit. Come on. So these are the gates. The famous Nassau, no, <laughs> Nassau Street gates. Nassau, as we call it in Canada. But yeah, gift of Augusta Van Wick to commemorate Nathaniel Fitzrandolph of Princeton, donor of the original campus. Well, Lottie freaking da. Wow. And they are made of wrought iron. So you can't, I mean, if they were closed, you can't really saw through them that easily. You could just walk around, of course. Oh, is it probably for a photo? What's happening here? Oh, he's just, uh. so there is a Dunkin' Donuts around here. I found that. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. So really what I'm saying is we don't know if these gates are cursed or not. And if you're watching this and you were like, oh, I want to see something about a cursing or about, well, if you want to see it, hear a lot of cursing, fuck shit, piss, there you go. But if you want to hear something about a, like, a curse and you get mad at me because I'm just making fun of stuff, well, it probably isn't uh, the video for you. Maybe it's not a channel for you because I just like to make fun of stuff. If I can. I got a comment the other day, which is really nice. They said uh, they watch a lot of my videos and I'm so serious in a lot of them, which I usually am because I'm doing, dealing with serious topics. And it was a, whatever video I did recently, well, it was just having fun. And they said, we didn't realize you were such a goofball and so stupid. COVID-19! Yeah. And like in a nice way. And I said, oh, well, that's actually how I really am. But it's a serious thing. I take it seriously. But it's something fun. If you were here with me, I'd just be talking non-stop, exactly like this, and making fun of every single thing I see. Oh. Hold on. I'll find something. I'll, yeah, yeah. Mini tractors on the back of a tractor bed. See? That's stupid. Why don't they just drive them? It's like stuffing grouper inside of a salmon and serving it at a restaurant. It's perverse. Oh, dude. Dude, that's never cool. Birkenstocks. I don't mind the what are the what do they call the oh there's more of them. And he's wearing Birkenstocks too. Birkenstocks was something that were in the nineties, I remember. Okay? If you're at a Dave Matthews concert, first of all, sorry. Second of all, you're allowed to wear them. Dave Matthews has three good songs. This is Witherspoon and NASA. This guy's had it. He's fed up coming towards me. He um is behind me now. He looks so much like a serial killer. Holy shit. This is Witherspoon and Nassau. This guy's had it. He's f but yeah, this is the famous. There's a lot of parents. Who, no, unauthorized signs will be removed. Um, but there's a lot of students, I can tell, with their parents, which is nice. They're dropping them off. They're dropping them off from the mansion to the, Prince, to the Princeton campus where they'll become our future... <laughs> Shut up! Our future leaders, our future business corporate sharks... Our future YouTubers, maybe? I see someone over there making a video. No, you're just FaceTiming? Still, you got what it takes, girl, I can tell. So those two birds, that's an American Eagle Outfitters. And I believe that looks like uh, Sam the Eagle from the Muppets. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they were made, their, like designed from. There's a bus where people get off the bus and go to Princeton. Where's your Tesla? Where's your Rolls? This is what you think. But no, Princeton's just a regular school where you just happen to be a, have a, a super genius or have someone connected to help you get in. And I've noticed that a lot of the men here are, are wearing shorts that don't go beneath the knees. And real, oh, hello. Oh, a second one, that's great. Cute. Uh, are wearing shorts that don't uh, go beneath the knees. And that's a fashion faux pas. Uh, for me, as a dude. Gotta be long shorts. See? Another guy over there. Really short shorts. I think you gotta wear long shorts. There, there you go. That guy's. Look. Like that. Basketball shorts. Basketball shorts, car cargo. Basketball shorts, cargo pants. That's what you gotta wear. Not what this guy's wearing. He's wearing them too short. Too short. But there we go. Fashion crime. All right, let's walk out the gates. Doesn't matter, I already graduated. Not from here, but still. I did graduate. When I die, bury me in a pyramid. Oh, well, 
told you my pants are on the cab. All right, so that's it for my bitch fest. This is a gorgeous little town. Princeton University, it's a real town, by the way, Princeton. It's a real place, not just a university. There's much more to Princeton than just a university stop. That was creepy. Uh, you can go to Princeton uh, Writing Company. There's a Starbucks, of course. Hamilton Jewelers. Oh, it's an expensive little area. I, was, I see what they're doing here. Yeah, okay. And beautiful countryside around here. A lot of deer. And they tell you not to slow down for the deer. If you see them. No braking. What the hell's that about? I'm going to brake if I see a deer. I understand the reasoning because you're going to... person behind you. But if you can save a deer, save a deer. That's a world famous labyrinth books. I guess that's where they get a lot of their um, books. I don't think this video is going to make the cut. I don't think it's going to... No. See? Princeton Film School. That's where I should... I don't think they have one. Oh, it's not considered Ivy League enough to be a filmmaker. Well... <laughs> Peace. Peace and love to all the students going here. Congratulations. That's, it takes a real... It's a real accomplishment to go to Princeton. So I'm very happy for all of them. Yeah, I am, though. Mm. But... We're the working men. We keep shut it with your motorcycle. It's really loud around here. Two motorcycles. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. You probably didn't. That's okay. Peace out from Princeton. Peace out from Princeton. Bye.